Right, people, what is happening? Welcome to my front room. Um, this is my new boat from, uh, from Inflatable Boat Fishing. Um, and today we are going to do an unboxing video. The first one I've ever done. There'll be another one coming up as well, actually, next week, because I've been I've had a message on Instagram by a company. I'm not going to say too much, but the thing I'm getting looks really, really cool. So hopefully it'll be good fun and it'll be ideal for fishing as well. All right. Get this unboxed. Shoot the whole house. Um, I need something sharp. I do. So in here is the whole boat. Um, an inflatable air deck, which I probably won't use that much because I've got my alley floor already from the old boat. I've had this a week today. It's been sitting in my front room for a week. And uh, as you can probably imagine, Mrs. Fish Hunt is starting to get the uh, hump. So, in the box, in the box we have got padded seat bag. Um, your seat will slide in there in that bit. It's got padding and a bit of storage for under the seat. So that comes as all this stuff in this box comes as standard. I've not got no special treatments in this box. Um, you get a decent pump, hand pump with a gauge on the top. Um, and we used one of these the other day when we was testing them down at New Haven and they're actually quite good. Um, again, everything in this box comes standard. Oars. That is, that's the, uh, the envelope, so that's the bag for the actual boat itself. Uh, I've done all that straps for. In here, that is the, uh, that's the air deck in its own bag as well. It's bloody heavy. Two seats, black ones, because obviously I've got the uh, the camo the camo boat, and they're made of aluminium. Um, something we'll hopefully never have to use, which is the um, punch repair kit, and it even comes with a key in case one of the valves ever break. But you've got a little tube of glue in there and about 10 different size patches. Um, but it's always it's always good to keep that with you. Um, and then the boat. This is gonna be fun. Lovely. I'm hoping that you've been out to see all this because, to be honest, I'm doing it off the tripod and I can't, yeah, it's hard work. So this boat is 3.7 metres long. Oh, it's shiny. And I wanted to do the unboxing here, really. Because I didn't want to get outside and make it dirty yet. Oh, it's lovely. So I am going to attempt to blow it up in here. Bloody Christmas tree in the way. Yes. Something I bought the other day. A little air pump to blow it up indoors. 
we might have to dock to it a bit to make it work, but I'm sure we can do that. So that will go on there. Now I need, now obviously the, uh, that little air pump I bought hasn't got the right fittings with it. Like this tube we have, that's the fitting we need. That one, to lock into the uh, thing. So that's got that on it, how can we make this fit? I might have to go and find some tape or something. Um, where's the little fittings that come with it? I've bloody lost it all now. Here it is. That might work. Hold on. Right, back. Now, I've made the house an absolute bloody mess, but it won't be for long. So, I didn't find the thing, I just found an extension lead, which will hopefully do the job. Now, bear with me. Let's see how long it takes to blow this up. Shoes there because this is going to take a while. Right guys, there we have a boat mostly blown up. It's not mostly blown up, it still needs loads of air really. But I've actually got a boat blown up in front room. Um, I've made an absolute mess. I've got stuff all there, look, it's a mess. Um, I'm not gonna put the floor in. I've put one of the oars on, you can see what the crack is. Let's jump in the boat. I haven't pumped up the keel because there's just no point. I'm gonna show you all again when I blow it up, when I, buy the, when I get the boat out to go fishing, so. Now these have been tested properly, they've got official inflatable boat um, information plaques. So this boat is for five people, 
Um, it can take up to a fifth. Oh, you can't see that, can you? That's better. 20 horsepower engine, um, 43 kilos. So, depending on what engine you've got, depending on the weight, um, my 18 is literally about 43 kilos. So, I'm, I'm at my limit. Um, with this 3.7, there are other models the same. No, I think it might just be the 3.7. They come with these different chocks in. So, the way that slants out, this boat can take an inflatable floor because the inflatable floor will be will, will, will come up to about here and it will stop it from lifting out. And it'll also take an aluminium floor, which will go underneath that lip. Um, so that's this is the first boat, first company of its kind to be doing anything like that because there's no other companies that do. So you can have the choice. I'll put one, uh, one of the floors in as well, um, just to see what they're like. I only tend to put one in, or I've got two, I only tend to put one in. This actual, this boat, um, this is the one with rib ports. You can buy these boats with or without. So these are um, Railblazer rib ports already come as standard. So I've got one there, obviously one there, and one on the other side. Um, as standard as well, all of the boats come with the attachments. You can have the bow bag put in, or you can have the canopy. Um, again, standard on all of the inflatable boat fishing boats, all of the hydrases. Um, bow roller um, and bow cleat, anchor cleat, whatever you want to call it. I think these are a game changer on on any boat. You can buy these from the Inflatable Boat Fishing website for any boat. Um, you just stick them on, um, but obviously they'll come as standard on here. Um, handle there for towing or for carrying, which is what I like to do with it. Um, I'll use it for pulling it along. Obviously, it's got the inflatable keel. Oh, I'm knackered now doing it with that. that Air pump that I bought was crap, so I ended up doing most of it by hand. Um, and I'm dying because I'm fat and overweight. Um, what else is there? Oh, well, I've also got a, a set of brand new wheels, which I need to fit. Um, obviously all stainless steel, clip on, clip on, clip off wheels. They need to go in and I also treated myself to a brand new battery. And, a, and a, all right, it is a second-hand Striker 5 with down view um, and chirp. So that should be good, running that alongside the Navionics app. Right, people, well, that's basically it. I'm going to... I'll set up another hyperlapse and just video myself putting it down and putting it in its bag. Um, because I've, if I'm honest, I've really not got time to be doing this. I need to be out doing a few bits. So I need to get this all put down, um, rolled up, put in its bag and put it away in my cupboard under the stairs because it's not going outside and getting cold. I've already got bloody footprints on it, look. But no, I am over the moon with this. I just got to say a massive shout out to Carlo from uh, from Inflatable Boat Fishing for, for giving me this wonderful boat. Um, and to his wonderful partner Susie as well for putting putting their trust in me, you know. Um, it's, it's really nice, really, really nice for them and I can't thank them enough. Couple more things. If you don't like having your oars, on the side of the boat, that's what these Velcro straps are for. You can always have them on the inside of the boat, so you've got all of this free out of the way. You can add more um, ports. Um, so really, ideally, these ones would be for like fish for for, for fishing rods, but um, you can have so many different attachments for them, and they're, they're all available on inflatableboatfishing.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the website, obviously, um, but you can have phone holders, GoPro holders, fish finder holders, drinks holders. I've actually got a drinks holder um, somewhere around here with the house, with the front room's upside down now. It's an absolute mess. Um, so I've got a Diet Coke holder. So I can have two cans of Diet Coke. Lovely. Um, I don't really know what else there is, to be fair. All of the, uh, on all of these new boats, because this is the H5, it's the newest one out, they've all got all the pressures you need around the valves on all of them obviously instructions and things and if you need to take a valve out it shows you there how to do it um so yeah there is there is the website right there but i will put it in the description um yeah other than that it's about all i really need to say you've all seen the hydras before this is just a new um h5 camo version which i find absolutely stunning um yeah, well, I'm going to get it rolled up then, get it put away, and I might even try and get out of it this week, but it's bloody cold.
Right, so I've got the boat all rolled up. Um, I'm hoping that the video's come out alright because I can't see what I'm recording. I'll just lean that on the TV. Um, I'm just going to chuck it in the bag. Now, I have... Listen, we all know what my videos are like, people. I just crack on. There's no rubbish. Uh, if I have missed out anything, and anyone wants to know any information, any questions about the boat at all, or about inflatableboatfishing.com as a website, as a company, leave, leave your um, question in the comments on this video, and then when we get the boat out, hopefully in the next couple of days, I will see the comments and I'll be able to answer them questions when we go fishing. Um, so this is the bag that the boat goes in. It's not bad, it's more like an envelope if you like. Um, and I've got to remember how to do it now. Like that. I think it goes that way. So. Something like that. And then that one folds over there. That's it, yeah I've got it right. That one folds over there. And then you've got your... You go in through both. I don't know if you can see that from there. And then out through one. And then you can pull these tighter. And hopefully it'll keep the boat nice. No, no, when you're blowing this up outside on the beach or in a car park at a slip well sank, at least you've got a little bit of protection for the underneath of your boat to lay it on. So that goes that way. Should have had one of the lads here helping me with this. And that one goes that way. To be honest, it, it's rolled up as small as a big rucksack, really. Or oh, that still weighs probably 30 kilos, maybe. Wetting. Right, Gary Glitter in the playground. Um, it's hot in my throat. I've got the eating on. I've just done the biggest workout I think I've done in about 10 years by blowing this up. So yeah, like I say, any questions people about any of the hydrages, about anything to do with inflated boat fishing really, I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, but if you've got obviously any inquiries about buying your own boat, seeing how much it costs, um, whatever other bits and bobs you need, because obviously there's still a lot more you need, things like life jackets, radios, you've got to be safe as well. Um, your engine, it's not, it's not massively cheap, no, it's really not, but it's cheap, it's a lot cheaper than buying your own boat, if that makes sense, it's like a, like a proper boat. And the thing with this is, I can now chuck this in the back, of any, any family size car and take it anywhere I want. Launch it anywhere I want. Oh, and I was gonna screw my wheels on while I had it blown up. Oh well. Right guys, I'll best clean up this mess before uh, Miss Fish Hunter gets back. Um, I will see you on the next one. Cheers.